this is Ryan Roy and in this impromptu video I thought it'd be fun to take a look at a tool a, a tool set that I don't feel gets enough attention in Lightwave and that's uh, Studio Live. Uh, Studio Live is uh, encompasses a set of tools that allow you to interface Lightwave with hardware devices and what you see on the screen here is a PlayStation 2 adapter that converts the plug from a PlayStation 2 port into a USB port. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that half the people watching this video have a controller just like this one with the top buttons here and the buttons here and the analog sticks. And if I move these around, you can see that it's affecting the character. And these are fairly simple rig constraints that I've put onto the character so that I can manipulate the face and uh, quickly bust out facial animation without a whole lot of, of effort involved. Okay, and the, the things that you can do with a controller in Lightwave are not limited to rigging. Um, you can use hardware devices to control the interface directly, uh, yes, without, without even using auto hotkey. Uh, for example, if I press this button right here, it makes the playhead move. Okay, if I press it again, it makes the playhead stop. If I press the start button, it makes this window come up. Okay, and, uh, and the reason I have this uh, link to the start button is so that I can press these buttons to allow play, or I can allow record. Okay, uh, so it gives you an idea of just how much... Um, capability that uh, just how much added utility you can get out of hardware devices that uh, that might just be sitting in your closet um, you know before studio live came out uh, these were just collecting dust in a closet and now um, I can offer my clients uh, um, animation for a lot cheaper using hardware devices that have been sitting in my closet for for like uh, almost a decade so uh, you know it's it's always a problem with with clients um, who who want to get good animation services but oftentimes they get sticker shock because it it costs so much in order to um, to get animation work done and studio live has allowed me to uh, say yes to more clients because I can bust out this animation quickly and without a whole lot of effort. All right, so uh, yeah, and something something to be aware of here is that uh, some most a lot of people know that the device manager shows you the output for various devices and it'll give you the numbers that you can use to uh, rig up. Uh, towards certain constraints in, in Lightwave. But there's also what is called the control booth. Now the control booth, it takes the inputs from your controllers, usually Booleans, and it allows you to hook up actual commands in Lightwave um, to dictate what happens after you press a certain button. And this is why uh, I can press these buttons and have the timeline, uh, manipulate timeline with the buttons and open and close windows um, with my controller. Uh, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show for right now. Um, I'm working a on a lot of projects at the moment, uh, but I, I thought I'd put out this video just for, just for the hell of it so people have something to look at. So uh, thanks for watching. This is Ryan Roy. I'm out of here.